Hey, heathens. So, the new ARIS 2008 survey is out. And I know you're all excited about it, right? No? Just me? I actually am excited about this. I've been waiting for the next one to come out. And the one to see what is. What in the world am I talking about? I am talking about the American Religious Identification Survey, ARIS, for 2008. This is the third one done. The first one was done back in 1990. The next one was done in 2001. And now they've done this one in 2008. They've surveyed people across the United States and asked them to identify them themselves uh, as far as their religion. All right. Uh, I want to thank the people who sent me links to this. Uh, I got a couple people who sent me different ones. I'm going to show you some footage of uh, one of the sites. I will post the links over there so you guys can uh, can go check them out as well. Um, but I also found the actual survey with all the details. So if you guys want to read into it, a lot of it doesn't really show anything of value. Um, it's just kind of most things kind of stay in line. You know the uh, the uh, the marriage thing is pretty much in line. The age groups are, you know, kind of do a lot of the things you would expect them to do. But a few interesting things in there, and I'd like to point those out. So first, let's go with some definitions. They split up the religious um, groupings as Catholic, mainline Christian, that would be your Methodist, uh, Lutheran, Presbyterian, Episcopalian, Anglican, um, Church of Christ, and uh, a few others in, in, that, uh, in that regard. Then they have Baptist. They have the Christian generic, um, which is uh, people who just kind of label themselves as Christian, Protestant, Evangelical, Born Again Christian, Born Again, Fundamentalist, Independent Christian, uh, or Non Denominational. Then they have the uh, Pentecostal uh, group, um, the Protestant denomination. And basically, what they're talking about is the. <laughs> The Christians that the Christians don't want, uh, with the exception of Mormons, they're, they have their own separate group, uh, and I don't know why. But you have um, the, the Jehovah's Witness, Christian Science, Messianic Jews, Seventh-day Adventists, uh, Mennonites, those people are included in that group. Then the Mormons, as I mentioned, uh, then the Judaism, Jewish people. Um, Eastern religions, this is basically Buddhist, Hindu, Taoist, uh, Shintoist, you know, things like that. I didn't like that group. I, I don't think that you can combine Buddhist with Hindu. They're a whole different type of thing, but uh, but that's fine, whatever. Uh, you have uh, Muslim or Islam, uh, the new religious movements or other religions. These are your uh, the rest of them. Scientology, New Age, Spiritualists, um, uh, Pagans, Wiccans, Deists, Unitarian Universalists, all those guys. Um, and then uh, the last two groups, I think, should be together uh, simply because of just probability. But, but they are separate, and we'll treat them as separate. And that are the brand new group. Uh, for those of you who are trying to figure out uh, what to call yourself, you don't like the term atheist, you don't like agnostic, you don't like whatever, you are now hereby classified by the ARIS as the nuns. No, that's not N-U-N-S. That's N-O-N-E-S, as in... What religion do you have? None. All right. The nuns includes um, people who say they have no religion, humanist, uh, ethical culture, agnostic, atheist, secular, any of that stuff. And then the last one is called refused, slash don't know. Now, to me, don't know is basically agnostic um, or people who just don't want to tell you, and let's face it, um, religious people don't have a problem telling other people what their religion is. So you can pretty much count them in with the rest of us non-theists. All right, now that we got definition out of the way, and sorry that took so long. Let's talk about what we found. All right, a few key points. Back in 1990, 86% of Americans identified themselves as Christians. That has fallen to 76% in 2008. Lost 10 percentage points. Christianity not doing so well. Um, one out of five Americans now are uh, failing to indicate a religious identity. Um, the nuns, again, this is what they're calling us, the nuns uh, continue to grow, uh, but not as much, at a much slower pace in the 1990s. If you watch my original uh, video where I did about atheist statistics, I said that you know we're going to, you know, we we doubled, doubled again, doubled again, and I said you're going to see it eventually back off. I didn't think it would back off as hard as it is. We'll we'll talk about numbers in a minute. Um, but it did. It declined down as a slower pace than the 90s, but it's still going up. 
We went from 8.2% in 1990 to 14.1% in 2001, and now we're at 15.0% in 2008. 27% um, do not expect a religious funeral at their death. I think that's uh, very telling there. Here's the biggie. When they stop saying what religion are you and they ask questions, check this out. They, uh, based on their stated beliefs rather than their religious identification, 70% of Americans believe in a personal God. That leaves the other 30 that don't. So all of your non-theists, deist included, uh, pantheist, uh, all those guys, 30%, which is up 6% from last year uh, in a different survey, so you can't really count that, but, uh, but still, uh, steadily growing. Um, anyhow, let's talk about some very specific uh, stuff that was in there. Uh, you have, um, okay, check this out. Self, uh, religious self-identification in the United States adult population between 90, 2001 and 2008. Other Christians, um, you had the Catholics and the other Christians, uh, fell from 60% in 90 to 52 in, in 2001 and 50.9 in 2008. Declining as they went uh, as time goes by. Uh, the Catholics uh, fell from 26.2 to 24.5, uh, but then uh, came back up 0.6% uh, uh, to 25.1 in 2008. So they actually uh, regained a little bit, so to speak. Your overall Christian picture falls from 86.2%, as I said before, to 76% in 2008. Uh, the nuns go from 8.2% in 90 to 14.2% in 2001 to 15% in 2008. So in the last seven years, we only gained 0.8%. That surprises me. Um, based on what I've seen in the last just two years, I would have really expected to see a much bigger gap. I'm actually, you know, surprised at the 14.2 uh, number. Um, I, my understanding was that the last number was closer to 12. Um, but uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm going by their numbers, so I'm I'm sure they're accurate. The uh, don't know or refuse to answer uh, has climbed from uh, 2.3 in '90 up to 5.4 in 2001. Came down 0.2% in 2008. I think that decline came from more people just simply identifying themselves as a atheist, agnostic, or whatever. Um, but it's not a big enough difference to really say that that's the case. Um, the other thing I liked was the, the change in religious self-identification and population by percentage of the population uh, per group. When you look at this one, the Catholics, other Christians, and other religions are all in double digits. The nuns and don't knows are in triple. The don't knows and refuse are actually uh, almost into the 200s. Uh, nuns are at 138% growth. Uh, don't knows are at 193% one, uh, growth based on the total population. The percentage of share of the national population growth as far as the whole, as far as, and meaning as the United States population grew, where did the most of them come from? The nuns. 37% uh, of the population growth are in the nun category, um, the smallest being the other religions, uh, second place being Catholic, only uh, up by 1% over the other Christians at 20%. If you combined to, uh, up the Christians all together, it was 41%. Um, but 41 versus 36 is a stark contrast when you look at the difference. So it really tells you something about the way that um, the ages is making a difference in the numbers. All right, belief about God amongst U.S. population in 2008. It was asked like this, and now this is the way that I think these surveys should be asked, um, and this is where you see truer numbers. Um, this is one of the things I don't like about this particular survey. I don't like the way they ask the questions, uh, but in this one, I think they got it right. It goes, uh, which uh, regarding the existence of God, do you think there is no such thing? There's no way to know. I'm not sure. Uh, there is a higher power, but no personal God. There is definitely a personal God, uh, and refused to answer. Only 69.5% said that there is definitely a personal God. 12.1% uh, said there's a higher power. All the rest are either I don't know or no. That says a lot. 18%, um, 17.9% uh, if you want to get uh, specific. Uh, did uh, or basically atheist agnostic when you ask it that way. And I think that is the proper way to ask that question.
Okay, I'm using up more time than I thought that I would here. So I'm going to break off and do the next one with my uh, in the second part where I'm going to show you some of the charts from one of the other uh, pages that uh, that was sent to me. And I think this is very interesting what we find there by the comparison of where in America the change is happening. So uh, uh, check that out. That that'll be posted right after this one. And uh, until then, don't take my word for it. Think for yourself.